In this video, I'm going to show you how I installed a double duplex receptacle convenience outlet under the 100 amp sub panel in my pole barn. I'm going to start by unscrewing the panel screws and then removing the panel cover. I'm going to mark the 1900 box height and remove the knockouts. Now that the wire is in, I'm going to tighten down the Remex connector and the lock nuts. Slide in the wire, tighten down the connector, level the box, then screw it into the panel board. Now we're going to cut the wires to the proper length and start stripping them and cutting everything off we don't need. I'm going to properly root the ground and neutral wires to where they need to go and get them stripped and tightened down under the terminals. I'm going to install the surge breaker real quick, that way everything powered in the pole barn will be surge protected. I just need to extend this neutral wire to get it to the neutral bar. Then we're going to cut it, strip it, and tighten it down. For the outlets, I'm going to start by stripping the wire back and cutting off everything we don't need. I'm going to put in the ground screw and move the hot neutral out of the way. Then wrap the ground wire around the ground screw and tighten it down. Now I'm wrapping the ground wire around the first receptacle's ground screw and tightening it down. Same as I did in the box's ground screw. I'm going to be doing this with all the wires for the first receptacle, stripping out the center of the wire to create a continuous loop between the outlets, wrapping them around the terminal, tightening them down, and then making a hook on the end. Now I'm just looping the hooks around the screw terminals on the last outlet. The end of the hooks always go to the right so it pulls in while you're tightening it. Next we're going to snap off all the receptacles tabs and pull out the screws in order to fit them in the 1900 boxes 2 gang cover. For the cover I'm going to put each center screw in first to hold everything in place. After that we're going to install a screw and thread a nut on the top and bottom of each receptacle then tighten them all down. Next, we just have to screw in the 1900 cover onto the 1900 box. Make sure everything's tightened down and we're good to go. Now it's time for the GFCI breaker. These breakers have their own neutrals that go directly to the neutral bar. So we need to install the outlet's neutral into the breaker's neutral terminal. Then the hot wire goes into the breaker's positive terminal. After that, we're good to go. Here's a closer look at the breaker's connections. Just got to knock out this breaker space real quick. Put back on the cover, put these four screws in, tighten them up, flip the breakers on, and we're good to go. 